All right, so check this out, right? So, like, in baseball, right? Major League Baseball. It looks better when the Red Sox and Yankees are good. I'll throw the Dodgers in there. We can even throw the Braves in there, right? Baseball just looks better when those teams are good, right? In, in football, NFL, you got Pittsburgh, Dallas, the Patriots. Any LA, any team out of California with a big market chart, any team in New York, when those teams are good, the NFL, it just looks better. So in basketball, when the Knicks, Brooklyn, the Lakers, the Celtics, I'll throw Miami Heat in there. When those teams are good, the NBA just, it just looks better. But I, I, I really don't know how to describe it because, you know, me being younger, you know, well, when I was younger, I grew up like, you know, I grew up a Celtics fan. But I really, like, I recognize how good the Lakers were, how good the Knicks were. Like, I just recognize those teams because those were the big market teams. Like, you know, look, we all know L.A. and New York are the two biggest markets in sports. So these Knicks, dog, these Knicks are for real, man. Like, understand something. When you win 12 out of 13 games, when you at one point went on a nine game winning streak this late in the season when you're already in position to make the playoffs that says a lot about your team it says that yo y'all are hot at y'all getting hot at the right time that y'all are focused on what the goal is and for a team to only have one all-star on it well i say too could you got could you got derrick rose but that's not the Derrick Rose, like the, that's not the Chicago Bulls before the injury. Derrick, it's not that Derrick Rose, but it, it, it's a Derrick Rose who can get you 15 to 16 points a game that comes off the bench that can that can probably play like 30 minutes a night and get you 20 20 points. And we gotta talk about Julius Randle. We got to talk about, like, it's already a lock that he's the most improved player. It's a lock already. It's a lock. So now we got to speak about him being in the MVP conversation and where does he fall on the list. Now, I don't know how he, with, with all of the injuries, he'll probably be five, six, because you got to put it like this too. I think Giannis has better numbers than Julius Randle. Honestly, in my in my opinion, I, I will I would honestly put Giannis above Julius Randle, but because Julius Randle plays for New, for New York and it's a bigger market, he's getting more shine than Giannis. But I'm not going to disrespect Giannis. Like I, I'm not I'm not putting him above Giannis in the MVP conversation. And and be truthful, nobody is even talking about Giannis. And I have to put him. I, I got him fourth, honestly. But Ju but Julius Randle is in an MVP conversation. We going we gonna keep that. And Tom Thibodeau, what he done to this team? Tom Thibodeau is an excellent coach, bro. He got these boys playing defense. I didn't even realize that they were number one in the NBA in defense until I heard somebody say it. Then I had to look it up for myself, and that's a and that's a fact. But yeah, man, these New York Knicks is tough. And gotta be honest with you. If we see this, if we see this team against a healthy Brooklyn Nets in the possibly second round, because. The, the Knicks are in fourth place right now. If we so happen to see this team in the second round against the Nets, you talking about you talking about a city of New York being jam packed. Like, let's be honest, New York is a 
big basketball town. Like, the Knicks are a storied franchise. They're the most historic franchise in sports outside of the Yankees. Like, right outside of the Yankees, the, the Knicks are the next best. Well, I say look, Dallas. You got Dallas. You got the Yankees. And then you have the Knicks. Because, look, the Knicks are sold out every single year. They have a sold out tickets every single year. So the Knicks are up there in terms of the story franchises. And then people try to make it seem like it's uncool to play in the garden. Look, for as many years as I've been watching uh, basketball, there's been so many teams that, wouldn't, that, that couldn't wait to play in the garden. And for the Knicks to be this good now, it's it. I bet you it's ten times more exciting because you're playing in the Garden because that's how that's how historic it is. So for basketball, look, it's good that the Knicks are good. Look, and I'm happy that the Knicks are good. I'm just not happy that they have a better record than us. Like Celtics, I mean, y'all get this shit together, man. Cause now that these Knicks is the, these Knicks is out here running around like they about to be champions or something. Like now we can't have that. But Knicks, man, nah, man. <laughs> Shout out to the Knicks, though, man. Knicks are, are good this year. I right, and I love it.